Yo, 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 what's up guys, Beat by Hate and yeah, and yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys music theory, because um, this is like one of the most requested video, and I think it's high time we just get it done, so um, pick up your pen, your book, your paper, anything, and jot down. So yeah, first of all, why music to you? You see, as a musician, it is very important to understand what you hear when you're listening to music. You know, it's very, very important. And it's like when someone is speaking to you, you not only hear the sound, but also understand the words and phrases. Like as I'm talking to you now, you can understand me, not just hear the words. So that's like the reason why it's good to hear um, music to you because a good musical ear also helps you when you are composing, improvising, or playing with others, you know, when you're trying to play with your friends, you know, uh, it helps you when you know what you are doing. So the next thing we're going to move on and talk about is the musical alphabet. Okay, in music, it's just like when they say in English, you have A to Z, and this A to Z is what you use to construct your sentences. So in music, the alphabet that we have are A to G. That's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and a repetition of it. You understand? Just like when you look at your piano right now, don't think of anything. Just follow me. I'm not yet teaching you, you know. So this is like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So it's just continue going up. So everything you see in a long piano, like you can see C4, C3, they are all, it's just repeating itself. This piano is written, repeating itself from year to year. You get, it just continued. So stop looking at it, that arm or this thing is too long. It's just from A to G, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is what it is. So we're going to move into notes and interval. Just follow me. Don't think of anything. Follow me, okay? So we're going to move into notes and interval. Just like we have um, A to G as our musical alphabet, we have 12 notes in our musical alf in uh, in uh, when it comes to the notes of um, your scale or in a piano or anything. What do I mean? Now, follow me real quick. Like now you can see, let's start from the C. Now, how do you locate a C in your keyboard? Let's say I ask you, locate C. It's easy. Just go to your piano row or your piano. You see these two black keys here, like these two here. The one below it is the C. You understand? So if you go on any piano and you, they ask you, can you locate a C for me? The C on this, the C note on this piano. So you just come, these two black keys, give it the C. And these three black keys, the next thing below it is the F. You understand? So you just go C, leave this black now. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So I repeat, if you're supposed to locate your, your C, it's just the two black key and below it is your C. If you have to locate your F, for instance, the three black key and you locate your F. So when I mean 12 notes, I mean one, two. This time around, we are counting the black notes as well. That is C. C sharp, when you're going up, it's sharp. When you're going down, it's flat. Don't worry. Don't be confused. Just follow me. It's a process. So now we're going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12. And we repeat it to the 1 again. I repeat. Let's count our notes together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is just a repetition. You see, from here like this to this place is the keys. Then it's just repeat itself. From here like this is the key. It just repeats itself. So yeah, that's uh, like the 12 notes that we have when it comes to our notes. Okay. So now in these notes, we have what we call a semitone and a tone or either a half note or a half tone or a whole tone. Okay, so a semitone is the same thing as a half tone and or a whole or a half note, and a a tone is the same thing as a whole note. Okay, what do I mean? When to to go a semitone just simply means you are not skipping any notes from year to year is a semitone. But from year when you now put from year to year, it's a whole tone. Okay, okay, let me go again. The interval between two adjacent notes is called a semitone the interval between two adjacent. What do I mean? It means the movement between one note to another note is called a semitone. You understand me? Why a tone is an interval of two semitones? What do I mean by an interval of two semitones? I mean one, 
that's one two two intervals that's one two so we are now this is a whole tone that's from year to year is a tone or a whole tone okay let me repeat a semitone is when you just move from one no job like you just move one step like you are walking now you just move your right leg forward one that is a semitone one you understand now when you want to make a whole tone is when you move you complete that your two step your right leg and your left leg that is you move your one and your two so that is a whole tone you skip a note let's move to somewhere like this for instance from year to year what do you think it is okay from year to year is a semitone i don't know if you got it so from year to year is a semitone you ask me ah, what do you mean now let me repeat myself again from year to year is a semitone because we are just moving a tone forward you understand me there's we are not jumping any notes you get me but when we jump in notes like from year we skip this note and we jump to this note that is now a whole tone you get me that is like we have moved two steps forward two intervals to give a whole tone so one interval gives you a semitone and two intervals give you a whole tone this is very important because this is what you are going to be using to create chords and scales so if you don't understand i would like you to like go back to this video and try to watch it again so that you will understand so for the last time a semitone is just the interval between one note and a whole tone is the interval between two mo two notes when you take two steps that is what a whole tone and means anywhere in the keyboard for instance from here from here to here is what now from year to year is a semitone i'm giving breaks so that you answer the question i'm, I'm pausing now purposely pausing okay so from year to year is a semitone because we are just moving one interval and we are taking one step but from year to year is what now from year to year is a whole tone so because we are moving two intervals and we are skipping one note anywhere in the keyboard please if you don't understand what i'm saying drop a comment in the comment section and i am going to gladly um reply to you guys because this is a very very important part of our um, music so so now i'm going to be teaching you guys scales and keys you know that is a major scale uh and a minor scale okay a key is just simply a scale based on some notes you understand when they say what key are you that means I'm on C, for instance, means I am playing the notes or the tones that are in this C key, either a major key or a minor key. Don't worry about major minor. Follow me gradually, gradually. We are getting there. So now, so now, we're going to move on to a major scale. So now, when you hear major scale, there are formulas for doing this. The formula for a major scale is, I want you to write this down whole whole half whole 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 half what i mean by that is a whole tone whole tone half tone whole tone whole tone whole tone half tone remember i told you an in initial half tone also means a semitone and a whole tone also means a tone okay so now let's create a major scale using our formula that i just gave to you now so let's pick a key and the easiest way for you to learn a major scale is your c key okay if you want to learn your major scale so you don't make mistake start with your c key okay how did i say you are going to locate your c key again when you see two black keys the key beside it or below it is your c key so now let's drop our key now this is our c this is our do this is our whole, this is one. We're standing for, you don't start counting the whole from here. Oh. When I mean whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. I don't mean you will now do whole, whole, ha half. That is wrong. Okay. You have to first of all place it because now we want to do it on a C. So we place it on a C. They will now start moving our formula. Whole, whole, half. Right? So now we're looking for the whole. Remember I told you your whole is two intervals. So we're going to go one, two that is our whole the next one following our formula is a whole i told you whole is two intervals we go again one two the next thing we have is half right half and i told you it's one interval that is one then we move another we go one two that is whole we move again one two that is whole we move again one two that is whole then we move a half we are back 
to the sea. So when you are creating your major skill, where you start, when you end, is where you're supposed to end from where you start. So if I'm starting from a C, for instance, and I'm creating my major skill, I'm making sure I am ending in a C. You get me? So now after doing this, you will now start do your one is your do re mi fa so la ti do. You understand? Do re mi fa so la ti do. See, we've created our major scale on a C. Okay? Now, let's create a major scale on another random key. Let's create a major scale on a D, for instance. How do I know what D is? Two black keys, C and D. Okay? Remember, I told you, going up when you see black keys, for instance, from C to C to here, is a C sharp, for instance. But from D to D, going back is a D flat. Okay, black is flat. Going forward is a semi, a semitone is sharp. Going backward is flat. It's represented by a B. I'll put the symbol somewhere. So now let's create another major scale using our formula whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So let's create it on a D, for instance. Remember, you don't start counting your whole from that root note. No, first place the key, which is a D. You understand me? Then we move using our formula whole, right? That is two semi, two intervals. That's two semitones. That's one, two. That's then we move on to another whole. One, two. Okay. Then we move on to a half. Put it here. Then we move on to a whole. One, two. We're using our formula. Then we put on to a two. One, two. Right? That is whole, whole, half, whole, whole. We have to go whole half you get me i remember i said this is our do or your one way or your two okay using the sofa notation it is do re mi fa so la ti do using your number system it is one two three four five six seven one back to your one so you understand what i'm saying this is very very important Please, if you don't understand this, um, I would advise you to watch this and I would advise you try to create your own major scale on every individual note that you see here. You know, just pick up a note mm -hmm. and create your major scale using this formula that I just showed you, which is the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay? So, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, creating your chords. So a chord just simply means when two or more pitches or notes are being heard together, you know, simultaneously, if I can use that word. So now, so now in your major scale, now I want you to write this down. In your major scale, your do in a major scale, there are major scales and there are minor scale, but we are dealing with major scale for now. Okay? So now, in your major scale, your do is your one, it is a major, your re, it is your minor, your mi, it is your minor, your fa, it is your major, your so, it is your major, your la, it is your minor, and your t is a diminished. Meaning, in a major scale, we have three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished. Okay, in your major scale, creating a chord, we have three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished, please. So now, I said the formula for major scale, I wanted to write it down. The formula for any major scale on any key is your one, four, seven. What do I mean by that? You go, you pick one, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the formula for a major. When you want to form a major chord on any key, on any scale, okay? Why your minor chord is one, three, seven. What do I mean? Picking this chord. Don't start counting from here. First, picking the note. Then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. This is just the root. Then you start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is your minor and this is your major. So the formula for a major chord is one four seven, while the formula for a minor chord is one three seven. 
So using this formula, and like I told you that we have three major chords, three minor and diminished. Let's start creating our chords on this C major scale. Everything I'm teaching you works in your D major scale. Just understand the formulas. Very, very, very important. So now, like I told you, your Do, which is your one, is your major scale. So we'll go one, right? We're trying to build our major. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our major in our C major. Now we'll go to D. Our D is what? Our D is a minor scale. Remember I told you that your one, your four, and your five in a major scale is a major chord. Your one, your four, what I mean by that is your one, two, three, your four, and your five. They are major chords in your major scale. Why your two, your three, and your six? Your six, right? That is your two, which is one, two, which is re, mi, re, mi, re, mi, la, is your minor. Why do, fa, so, is your major chords in major scale. So now, this is re because it is the second note, okay? So we'll now go. We're going to form a minor chord on this. Okay, so we'll start your root, which is your re, which is this. Then we'll now go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've created our minor, okay? That is do, re, me, they will move on to me. And I told you that your me is also a minor chord in your major scale. You understand? So we'll go your roots. Then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You understand? This is now your minor, which is me. You understand? They will now go to fa. Okay, remember do, re, me, fa. And what did I say your fa is? Your fa is a major chord. So how was the formula for the major chord? One, four, seven. So click this, then we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see, then we'll move on to your saw, and your saw is also a major chord. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our saw, then your la, which is a minor okay so we click this there we go one two three four five six seven okay now your diminish the formula for diminish is so yeah the formula for a diminished chord which is your t is a one three six that is like two minors together so that's like we'll put a year so we'll go one two three four five is that right? Yeah. Uh, I think it's right. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's like the formula for diminished. Okay. So, this is your do. Your do on a major scale or your one is a major chord. While your re, mi, which is your two and three in the number system, they are both minor chords. Then your fa, so, which is your four and five in your um, ma major scale, is your major. Then your la is your minor. Then t is your diminished. So I don't know if um, you understand perfectly well what I just said. Um, yeah, so you can pick this on a on uh, A minor on a C major scale and um, try to come up with um you just pick, go to a, a note, just pick a note like maybe this note, drop it down, uh, try to create a major scale. Okay, let's say you want to create a major scale with this note right here. Okay, we we'll just go. Remember our formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So we just go whole, which is a two interval, taking two steps, one, two, that is one, one, two, that is do, re, mi, fa, the easiest way, mi, fa, always together, and ti, do, always together. That's another way you can, that's do, re, mi, fa, always together. There we go, la, taking, uh, so, I mean, taking two notes, then, La, 
take two notes, then T whole notes, then do. So we are back for where we started. So I don't know, you can rewatch this video and try to understand it perfectly. Um, I don't want to make the video too long or rush this video. So in our next uh, episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys the minor scale and the chords in the minor scale. So um, let's take it a process. Let's make this maybe a three or four series so that you all can watch and understand music theory and start making cool beat. So if you have any question or you are confused about anything, please, please, please drop a comment below and i'm going to try my best like i always do to respond to everybody so um the, the next video i'm going to show you guys minor scale minor chords and we'll move from there in this series um yeah if, if you like this video give me a thumbs up because that's what motivates me to keep doing more video uh, tell me what else you want to see um i think from now on i'm going to be teaching you guys music um theory to you maybe we finish this series then we can move on uh, to um something else so yeah, thank you guys for watching remember to stay positive positive things will always happen to you practice practice profit makes perfection i'll catch you guys in the next video peace